What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fallout Shelter. And this is the one we've been waiting for. You ready for this shit? Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, so. Oh, where is he? 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 he gotta be here somewhere. Uh, right there. Nice. Okay, so we got him out of the way. We need to move uh, you up there. And uh, yeah, let's put you up here too. Why? Because we're going to be doing some crazy ass crafting now. This is what we've been waiting for. We have all these legendary weapons and it's like or, well, not weapons, it's the plans for the weapons. But this hardened flamer. 15 to 18 damage. Here we go. This is the shit that we've been looking for. Look at this. Enhanced minigun. 19 to 21. Nice. So, see, so you need gold watches, and I'm assuming that was military grade duct tape. The fat man. Uh, four shovels, three duct tape. And flasks. I have not even seen that. It takes 11 fucking days to make. Holy shit. Toon Gatling laser. Circuit board. Giddy up buttercup. I do have one. I said in the last episode I had never seen one. But I have one apparently. I don't know where the hell I got it. But So there you go. Ah, oh, that's... That's, uh... That's too bad. <laughs> that's really too bad. 19 to 23 armor piercing minigun so we can start crafting those if we were to get more gold watches but shit enhanced gauze rifle gauss rifle fat man 22 23 guided missile launcher 20 to 24 wow tuned alien blaster tuned gatling laser i don't even know where the hell i got all of these that's badass. Okay, so we have that available to us. The next thing that we're going to be getting into is the Outfit Factory. Need 90 dwellers to be able to do that. Uh, I honestly thought we were going to be able to do some crafting today, but apparently not. One thing we can look into is this guy. Maybe we'll get some of the stuff here that we need. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, come on. You're serious? Yeah. Oh, please be something good. A hardened railway rifle. Alright, better than nothing. Better than nothing. So we got that one for uh, punching raiders to death. <laughs> so that's a cool thing. We have uh, Amanda, hands on my cock, out there and she's only been out there for an hour she's already grabbed a thousand caps and she's got a ghost rifle on her plus she picked up another plasma rifle uh she ended up doing something went to the supermarket or something like that and ended up picking a fight with the raider boss so she ended up winning that kicking some ass that way i honestly thought these guys were gonna do something so i guess we'll put them back down here and get their luck back up Hey, we have another event. Perfect timing. So this is actually what we went to before. Oh, well, sorry, dude. I'm going to have to. I can't hit ignore on this. We got to go. I got to go. Rescue Sierra Petrovita. One ghoul customer. I've never even seen anything like this before. I've seen this. This is really cool. Super duper mart. And um, I came in here and went down here, fought the raider boss, and that was it. But I have not seen anything where you've actually had to rescue someone before. Um, what she has on her, a rusty plasma rifle versus the gauss rifle, which is 16-17. This is a consistent 17, so that's a good thing to have. Get it, kitty. Oh, shit. You dead. Son of a bitch. These guys are kind of tough. Ow! There you go. Get him, get him. How many things? We got three things to check out too. Probably get some pretty good rare loot. I don't want to heal until she kills him. There we go. There. 
Wow, humans really did screw things up. And it's a rare one, so probably a tuned. And that's probably the one above, which is the five. We have a shovel. Looking for gold watches, people. Come on, come on. It would be really cool to be able to craft like a fat man or uh, what do you call it? Guided missile launcher. Holy shit. Those things would be fucking awesome. Uh-oh. Now what? Oh, Sierra must be back there. Kick his lily ass. You get him, kitty. And see, this is why I usually load them up with quite a bit of shit. Because uh, you never know if they're going to have these events coming at you. So it's always nice to just have that extra little bit. And please be a good one. Now. Dead. Oh, he dead. Ooh, we got another rare plan. And a shitty gun. Alright. Come on. Go back here. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad you're here. Me too. Let's go into that room over there and we'll make out. Those horrible ghouls were trying to steal my Nuka-Cola Quantum. Here's 50 because you're awesome. Glad to be of service. You're crazy lady. They're after you, not your Quantum. Maybe you sh I should hang on to that Nuka Quantum so you'll be safe. Um... I want to do that one. So you'll be safe. Oh, what a good idea. Here you go. That's all it took. Dumbass. <laughs> nice. I've already gotten two from a previous thing. I can't wait to get out of here. Yeah, me either. I thought maybe she was going to be coming back with me. So what did we just pick up there? Um, we have a rusty laser and a tuned laser. Nice. All right, so I guess uh, you're not coming with us then. All right, well, screw you. We're heading out. And rescue Sierra Petrovita. Back we go to the wastelands. And we are actually going to do another quest. This one's going to be a little bit different because it's going to take, uh, I think it was seven and a half hours to get there. So you can see she's picking up quite a bit of shit. Our, our storage is actually getting pretty full. Um, I'm trying to hold on to stuff just for that sole reason of crafting, but I didn't realize it was actually, uh, see, like, we have things like this here, desk fan, ten of them, seven shovels I want to keep, the rare stuff I want to keep, but... It's like how much of this? Like 29? You know, I just kind of sell a bunch of these. That should help with our storage space. Holy shit. There we go. Let's see, teddy bears, 13. Duct tape, 30. Save quite a bit of space by getting rid of some of this. You can see, like, it's not looking for this kind of duct tape, it's looking for the other shit. Baseball gloves, magnifying glasses. We're not getting much money for it, but clearing out a hell of a lot of our storage. I think what I might end up doing now is start selling the uh, stuff off that we, um, we pick up from the scavenging that says sell common stuff see look at that never got a hundred left for storage uh, microscope yarn brahmin see there's the giddy up right there military duct tape I only got one we're gonna need quite a bit more let's do a little bit of clicky clicking oops everybody's good here no one's leveled up uh, right there what about down here? Nope, everybody's good? Okay. So, right here. Right here. Powered up. Search the nuclear power plant for Paula Blumkin. So, as we do. Uh, oh, are these guys all stronger? Holy shit, yeah, because I put the. Uh, I've been switching around the outfits. You probably saw my happiness was up around 90. And uh, it's because I've been putting all the shit on these guys. 
Foot, you're my guy. Uh, where'd you go? Roy. And where is the lovely Judy Jones? We have 25. Yeah, let's uh Let's do that. I'm gonna just send them out right now. I'm gonna just kind of stand around a bit and collect a few things before we head out. And once I get myself organized, guys, I'll meet up back with you guys when we head out to wherever the hell it is we end up going. Well, the nuclear power plant, whenever we're going there. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. And right now, we got a few people that are leveling up. You can see we're getting to the longer point for some of these guys. Like, yeah, her, she's getting up there as well. And this lovely lady, she's relatively new, but she's kicking some serious ass. So she's almost maxed out. We got uh, another dweller waiting for us, but I'm going to hold on to that for a second because right now we have more important things to do. We're going to go check out the path of Paula Blumpkin. This is going to be interesting because we're going to the nu nuclear power plant today. This could prove to be one of the most difficult challenges we faced. And of course, they leave her behind. It's the two guys with the dogs running side by side. Let's see how big this is. Oh, damn. All right, man, let's just get right into it. We're not going to we're not going to piss around at all today. Everybody's equipped with a weapon, I hope. Yep. Let's see what happens here. Is this um could very well be pretty nah okay. Not so bad. I can't remember if this was I think level 14. Comforting, isn't it? But we're supposed to be able to get some pretty good loot from this. And I'm excited because I believe oh wait, there's his body right there. I didn't even notice that. Ooh, look at that flamethrower just kicking some ass. Nice, this guy, holy crap, double shooting. <laughs> wow. Okay, are we able to get you? I think he might be from the previous room, so I might have to go back to get him. Check that out, got a right away. Let's just go back here quickly. Oh boy. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, there it is. Toy car. Okay. We're able to move along. We got nothing there. We go up here. So obviously we're going to continue going up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven floors to go. And my guess is right here. Paula Blumkin, is that you? Or another one of your crazy ass trails you've led us on? Whoa. Man, we're taking a little bit of damage, but nothing we can't handle. And surprise, just a little bit of rads on her and him. Nothing on Butch yet. Look at that, man. That fan, I'm looking for gold watches. That is one of the things that we need. Uh, what else was the other one? Giddy up, buttercup. I think we need one more of those. Oh, nothing in here. Okay, we got a little bit of armor. Uh, there was something else that we had not even seen yet. Uh, circuit board, that was another one. Which we might start finding some of these in the uh, higher level quests. So that's the hope anyways. Only seems to be three at a time here. Yeah, let's just get rid of you and you. Oh, I told you not. She's almost got this guy finished. Yeah, he did. You're done. This ain't nothing. This is like easy stuff. A couple right -aways. They keep giving us those right -aways, though. Something tells me we're going to be dealing with rad scorpions or something like that. This may not be a good thing. Okay, we're plugging along pretty good. We've already done three floors. Mind you, it's only uh, one room per floor. So. Oh, the glowing. Okay. You. Get this guy. Always taking a little bit more damage now. Oh man, look at that. Look at the rads on that. Holy smokes. <laughs> this guy's all rads. I'm gonna let him hold on for a bit. Man, you're already dead. And you, you're dead now too, boy. Nice. And who's left? Glowing one. A whole bunch of rad away. Oh, surprise, surprise. A whole bunch of those. Nice one of those. 
Yeah, we have a relatively nice amount of caps as well. Oh my goodness. It's kind of intense, isn't it? Yeah, leave his ass behind. Let's go see what have we got here. Oh. More feral ghouls. This seems to be a theme. Don't shoot. I'm not like those other ghouls. What? A fucking talking ghoul. Holy shit. Uh, looking for Paula Blumkin. She was here, all right. Okay, kick his ass. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. It's a setup. Paula thought this place might be Vaultopolis. Obviously not. Don't be a smartass. She headed to Vault 813. If you're following her, this might help. Aw, oh, well, look at that. Holy shit balls. Oh, wow. Okay, who gets that? We got a camera. We got some armor. A couple of those. So we don't shoot him. Let's see. She has the hardened flamer, a junk jet, 13 to 15. Huh. I don't think it'd be anything that I'd use because everybody here has something better. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, we got a junk jet. I thought it was something a little bit more than that. Uh, let's heal this guy up. Her, she's good. Roy, how are you? Come on, let me click on you. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, go over here. Oh, they're heading down. You want to go up here? Okay, you're going to run across. And how's he? Nah, he's fine. He's fine. Everybody go up here. Come on. Come on, we ain't got all day. We got uh, one, two, three more floors to check out. We're going to get some really good loot here. I like how that guy just kind of stays there in the attack position. Like, I'm seriously not going to hurt you. You know, I don't believe you. Dude. And, oh, couldn't even have a time to hit him. Roof. Come on. There it is. And there's that. Here we go again. Moving along, moving along. Oh, it's just going to be like one after another after another, isn't it? Yeah, what the hell? Let's just murder everybody. There you go. Done. <laughs> and give me that. Ooh, nice. And a magnifying glass and more ghouls. <gasps> Shocker. It's like a story that you already know the ending to. Kind of sucks. Oh, he's doing a good chunk of damage. Kick his ass, would you? What the hell are you waiting for? Uh, duct tape. I need the military grade duct tape. That's the other thing we need. They need to fire their interior decorator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Ooh. Well, I was expecting rad scorpions. And we got ourselves a jacket, another one of those. Yeah, we're gonna head straight up here, right across. Last little room, that's gonna be the bonus room. Oh man. So we got a junk jet, that was pretty cool. What the fuck? Why didn't you light that up? You were there for crying out loud. Thanks. Dumbasses. This is uh not a letdown. I'm not gonna say a letdown because it's definitely not a letdown, but uh, not what I expected. I expected more of a challenge than this. But, like, you can see we're poning pretty hard, man. And we're getting so many more stim packs. Like, yeah, let's just do it. Why not? I already got full when I'm in the, uh... Oops, there we go. That was a total waste of one, but whatever. There we go. And it's like I said, I'm already full back at the dwell or at the vault, so it really doesn't matter what I use out here, because when I bring them back, we're overstocked, I guess you can say anyways, so. Holy shit. Yeah. And another rare plan, and nothing else to collect there. One last room. What have we got? It's empty. That's awesome. All that for a fucking BB gun? Really? I think that's what that was. Yeah, BB gun or an enhanced BB gun. One of the two. Either way, it was useless. This looks cool. I have to say that much, but that's pretty much it. We'll probably hand it off to somebody back at the uh, vault. So we'll head back here. Junk jet, BB gun, BB gun. We got that there. And now we're going to head back to the vault. We have another room that we can do. Uh, because we hit the 80 mark. 
Now we have something new that we can add in. Uh, we already have the garden, I think was one. So let's collect up all our goodies. No, nope, don't move anybody anywhere. There. We don't need any more. Ah, damn it, I didn't need those. See, I'm already 55 and 55, so. Um, yeah, 81. Let's see. What is the new room that we have here today? Water purification. Assign dwellers here to produce water. Now, what I'm going to ask you guys is for both of these here, is it better for me to eliminate the existing food and water? Where are they? Right here. Water and food. Is it better for me to eliminate those, like scrap them? Move the dwellers out, obviously. Scrap it and then build in the new version of it. Or should I just keep those there and then expand further down? As you can see here, I did add in another barracks because we only had enough for 80 and I needed the extra space. Uh, she's out exploring. She's been out for quite some time now. We'll check in on her quickly. Uh, her, she is sitting right here. Level 32 now. I think she started off at 26 or something like that or 16 or who knows. Um, she's just been collecting up shit like crazy, like three grand in, in caps already. Um, this is the stuff I think we had before that we got, and then we moved along, got all this stuff along here, we got the advanced jumpsuit, and then some basic weapons and stuff like that. The next thing that I'd like to go on with you guys is, let's go here, there, up here, right in this one, yeah, we need a 32 pistol in order to do this. You can't go on this quest without a 32 pistol. Uh, it takes 15 hours to get there, so I may very well actually do this. Um, I think it'll be interesting. And we get a legendary, a legendary handgun. I'm curious to see what the hell that is. Um, I don't know what the next one is with this, but we'll try to take a peek at that and see. The other thing I found is that guy there um, when you hear that noise that says, uh, I'm out there somewhere, what I've noticed is the further away I am, it seems the quieter that noise is. So if I was way up here in this top corner and you hear that faint din din din, that means he's really far away from where you are. So he's got to be somewhere in one of the other rooms way over here. Um, if it's loud, it means that he's somewhere close by. Now, that could just be me here and shit, but for the most part, it seems to have worked out when it's like, okay, I know I don't need to go searching all over when it's really loud. He's got to be somewhere within, like, the top level kind of thing. If I was already up here, he's got to be pretty close by here, and it seems to be working out. Obviously, as you can see, I spent 60,000 caps, dropped myself down to, like, 3,000, and I'm already back up to 17 grand. Yeah. So, that's the thing. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this particular episode. We have everybody out exploring, and you know what? I'm going to bring this poor lady back. Why not? It's going to take her an hour and a half to get here, so that will bring her back, and she's now quite the level. Uh, we'll have to see. Let's bring in this guy, Robert Allen. What kind of shit? Mm, where could we put him? Gotta get him some agility or strength, because he's... Oh shit, here we go. These things suck. Because no matter what I do, where I put people, what I give them, they just seem to cycle through the entire thing. So they come through, the three of them, and it's like, these guys can't take care of them, so they go next door, he can't take care of them, so they go down here, these guys can't take care of them, so they head over to this side, they can't take care of them, so they drop down here, and most of them end up dying down here but my resources go to hell. <laughs> and also I gotta be aware with my stip, my sim packs to be able to top these guys up as needed because they will, uh, there, you see their health goes just below half. And then I go through and I try and top them up before I head just to the next level. I got this guy, obviously he's in here. Now what they're gonna do, they're gonna drop right down here We already killed one, or is there still three there? So then we got these guys right here. Yeah, I guess we already killed one, so that's a good thing. So now they go through here. Let's get that. Yep, there's another guy. And 
can see that these guys can't finish them off, so it moves on to the next one. You go there. Oops. You. You're good. You're good. Cool. I'm gonna go over here. You can see again. Everybody's pretty hurting. And I do this just to keep packing this up. Oops, didn't need to do that. And there we go. He finished them off. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass because, uh, yeah, like they romp through the whole thing. It lowers all my shit, mostly the food. So now I have to go through and try and brush the food and all that kind of stuff. So let's bring this guy in. Where are you going? You're going over agility? No. Strength? No. Alright, anywhere would be good. Can you fit here? Yeah. We'll shove them in there for now. There we go. Level up a few more people. Get some more food. Get some of the power back. There we go. We're almost back on track. Just like nothing happened. Give this guy a pretty little outfit. And let's see. Let's give him the night armor. What the hell? Why not? And you're, I'm not gonna. I have those 232 pistols for that. I don't know if everybody needs one or if it's just one. So we'll have to see what happens there. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you already know what to do. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.